All right, all right, family. We are finally live. Oh man, thank you for your patience. <laughs> thank you for your patience, having a little bit of technical difficulties, but uh, we are here. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, if you can see us. Let me know if, if everything is good. Powerful show tonight. Uh, we're gonna talk about the whole 11 11 energy and uh, a lot of good stuff. You know, we are in some interesting times. Yeah, let me know if mix. I'm gonna make sure y'all can hear and see see me. Let me know. We're gonna get some ads, of course, at first. Then we're gonna uh start the show. All right, so uh make sure you hit the like button. Yeah, they saying yes. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna get to some ads real quick, family. Uh get comfortable. We are now here. Uh get comfortable, hit the like button, tell your friends and family that we are live with a show that they cannot afford to miss. Their spirit cannot afford to miss this show. So, um, yeah, let them know. We're going to get just a few commercials, and we'll be right back, and we'll get started, family. Welcome to the Sacred Tree. This is Stardust Jewelry for the Collective. All of our pieces are spiritually downloaded, handcrafted, and created with the love and healing powers of our set. We pride ourselves on using nothing but the best crystals, 14 karat gold, and sterling silver to highlight the conductivity of this alchemical process. So many superpowers for us to tap into, and the crystals are here to help you. I always say whatever crystal you choose, it chooses you at the same time. It's a symbiotic relationship. So feel free to tap into the sacred tree life. See what we have to offer. Rock. This is Dr. B. Serious, your natural health specialist. Wise ones know that organic plant-based compounds have always held the secrets to imbalance and dis-ease. This is why I created the highest quality handcrafted natural remedies and solutions for discerning people just like you. These products support a strong immune system, help neutralize disease causing parasites and toxins while supporting a better quality of life. Take charge of your health. Make the smart choice. Check out my plant-based vitamin C tonic, X-Factor Super Immune Enhancer, and the Total Body Detox Programs. Instead of waiting on a cure, visit ElevationTime.com. It's the Numerovational Session with King Simon. Text your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. And get my books on Amazon. Welcome to the Matrix Unveiled. Awaken your spiritual powers. Take your visualizations and manifestations to the next level. Our spiritual consultations help you remove blockages to your success, guide you through your shadow work, assist with chakra alignment, inner child healing, divinations, and more. Join the Matrix Unveiled Academy and take your consciousness quantum please connect with us on our youtube channel where we share information on spirituality and metaphysics thanks for listening can't wait to meet you on matrix-unveil.com hey there had a bad dream i have dreams too some parts are scary and some parts are fun always remind yourself it's only a dream and everything will be okay i had a dream about being in a forest too Check it out, my pet Petey was with me. Order your copy of Kayla Petey and the Forest on Amazon today. So when I was setting up today's show, um, I didn't realize it was 11-11. Um, and that's good because that means that my attentions was my attentions and it wasn't, my, it wasn't based on a particular day or whatever. It just came from my heart. So I'm glad that it lined up the way it lined up with Sister Myra and Rod Hayes and the title of the show. Return of the Skywalkers, very important title, family. Uh, Star Wars was a very important movie that was uh, brought to the culture. Very important movie based on our ancient mythology. Uh, before we get started, first, I would like to welcome Rod Hayes, my brother, Sister Myra, the goddess, the queen. Thank you for coming on the platform. Thank you for coming on together. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get on here with Sister Myra, so we can show them what, this, what Big Mama Energy do. <laughs> Mutually, uh, I, I feel the same way. I couldn't wait to get on with you also, Brother Rod. So I know this is going to be a dynamic show. Indeed, there's a little delay on the Sister Myra's video. I see somebody say it, so bear with us. Yeah. There's a little de de delay on Sister Myra's video. But as long as the audio is good and you can hear the message, that's yeah. what's important. But bear with us. Yes. Don't say no smart Alex shit in the chat. This is delayed. You know how <laughs> you know how the technology gets. So just bear with us, family. All right. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in um, and being excited for this show. And um, as we begin, Rod Hayes, Sister Marvin. Now these are 
Sister Myra brought this big mama energy to our community. And Rod Hayes, listen, Rod Hayes represents it to the fullest. I mean, he's always talking about this big mama energy. So this is like, you know, uh, uh, this is like that my son dynamic right here. The Mason, the my son. You know what I'm saying? This is that dynamic right here. But before we get into the show and what we're talking about, can you tell me what exactly we always hear about 1111. I want to hear from the both of you. What, what, what? What could y'all tell the people about this energy or this portal that everybody refers to as 1111 when they see the time, when they see the date? Everybody's like, oh, 1111, 1111. What, I would love to hear both of your perspectives on this whole 1111 energy as we, before we get started. Okay. Um, who do you want to start off? Uh, Sister Mara, you decide. You want to start off? Okay, um, uh, ladies first, I guess. So All right. okay. <laughs> I'm going to use that privilege. Um, what I do about um, what I know about 1111, I happen to think that 13 is the highest vibration number. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get the 13 out of 1111. If you add 11 and the two ones, it comes up to 13. 11 is a master number as well as 22. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 is for spiritual mastery and 11 is for personal mastery. Mm -hmm. I always look at the 11 as a, as a gateway as well, you see. But I um, just today really understood the real significance of the 1111 um, because of what's happening now um, and because of the date today. Um, we've been in a portal from October 31st to today, November the 11th. So this 1111 is, is wrapping up um, a significant, um, what I'm saying is, is a balance. You know, as we uh, get more into the show, I'll be able to explain that more, but uh, this is highly significant that what is going on right now, um, is corresponding with today's date um, with the 1111. But I like the 13. If you add 11 and one and one, you get the 13. Also the master number, um, personal mastery. And then um, two 11s, 22, which adds up to spiritual mastery. That's my take. <laughs> so when I see 1111, I see four pillars. Now we when we see four pillars. That's not the shrine of Hyrule. That's Mama's shrine, the shrine of the Black Madonna. Mm. Right? Mm. It's represented by four pillars because the four pillars is the four X's. The four X's is the genome on the mother line. Right? So each pillar represents the X. X marks the spot on a four corner shelf. So you take the 11, 11, four pillars flips out to 22, two on each side. The symbol that separates them is called a colon, right? So if they're separated by the colon, that means they separated by the center split right up your ass. <laughs> so that is two arms or arm and a leg on each side, right? So they call this the building of the temple of the great mother in raising the matriarchy. All you need is for a matriarch of renown in the community to hear you tell the story of the raising of the black Madonna and the rip renting of the veil of Isis to lay the story bare and bring mama back home so she can return to her throne. So the portal aspect is the flip of the energy, right? Because you're looking at it as two on each side, right? And two twos is two fives upside down. That's two stars. And we know we got an Eastern star and the eastern star is the star that rises in the east. That's Venus. So then the next feminine um, object is Earth, right? But outside of Earth, it, if we was on Venus, it looked like a star. 
but only on Venus, it would be rising in the West, right? So the two sisters need another sister to aid her in her resurrection. That's a three sisters flip. The three sisters is represented in the organic community as a crop growing method so that we would know how to grow the squash, the corn, and the beans together. In other words, it's teaching the um, farmer who is called the groomsman, who's practicing something called husbandry on the farm. So in order to be a good husband, he has to bring all of the children back home when mama sent him out. Mama said, don't let nobody take none of your brothers and sisters shit. Well, my brothers can't get nothing till my sisters get their shit. And we ain't worried about it because we here to get our sisters they shit. So we got Sister Myra Moss here and she's watching the construction of the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Where is she at? And how do you identify her? They say the proof is in the pudding. It's what you put in and what you get out, right? So we say the word Madonna, it's a two-part word. You brought up May's son. Well, that's my daughter. The daughter is Donna. Donna is Donna Farrakhan. So that tells me that the grand matriarch would have to be Mother Khadijah because she's Ma to Donna. So to raise the black Madonna, all we have to do is find Donna and her mama. And her mama has to be the mother of the righteous. And when we go to Islam, they said the mother of the, the Khadijah was the mother of the righteous. So then I have to use the portal to explain how to get Big Mama her shit back so her girls can come home. So I, I look at the 11, 11, that's 22, raises a four. What do the four symbolize? A four corner shuffle. The four corner shuffle is the mother line. That's a red large knot. The mother line comes in off the left, but the father line comes in off the right. But that's a misnomer because the right brain receives the mother wit and the left brain receives the father's logic. And the father flip it to the mother's side and the mother flip it to the father's side so you can cross intelligence with psychic abilities. Spiritual insight is what it's called. The ability to differentiate a furkan mm. in Arabic. And the furkan is the furkan. And the furkan was the charmer. And the charm was on the key ring. And the key ring has to be clear from Mother Claire in order to know who she left with the key. And Mother Claire is Claire um, Muhammad, wife of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So to take it full circle, they said Allah came in the person of Master Fire Muhammad. In the person, mean in the reflection of. Exactly the opposite of what you see is true to the statement. It's a blatant contradiction. God is a man is not true. God is a woman is the story. So when you unravel the Two, the two twos and they flip to the two fives is the turnaround and two fives is 10 and 10 is 10 toes down on the upright is a five star flip. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man, wow. <laughs> I don't think they got a 11-11 breakdown like that before. <laughs> Jesus, wow, okay, right. <laughs> all right, now let's... um. All right, we got a we got a packed house so far. Uh, shout out to everybody, like I said, in the building. Uh, we are getting ready to start this show with the the return of the Skywalkers. We are living in some interesting times, family. We are living in some times where you have the veil is being lifted, and you got to make some decision making. You got to take this red pill, this blue pill, 
slavery is becoming a choice. You could decide to stay in slavery if you want to or not. You know what I'm saying? This is some interesting times we are in, family. Uh, one of the things that came to me this morning before the show, I called Rod Hayes, I called Sister Myron, I was excited. And um, I, I just was talking about the Star, Star Wars theme. And then the name Skywalker came to me. So let me uh, show y'all this. Since we're talking about the return of the Skywalkers, let me show y'all this. Uh, let me put this on the screen real quick. Uh, so when you look at the movie, like I said, this is this. I think this is the biggest franchise ever in uh, Hollywood history. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong in that family, but Star Wars, I think that was the biggest franchise ever. So I can't um, get the man bigger. Yeah. So um, when you look at the Skywalker name. It says the Skywalker family is a fic fictional legendary human family in Star Wars franchise. Within the series, within the series fictional universe, the Skywalkers as are represented, presented as a bloodline with strong inherent capabilities related to the force and sometimes lightsaber skills. Then I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna go to this at the bottom. The Skywalker bloodline, alongside the Palpatine bloodline, are the two bloodlines that are the strongest with the force. So what's so interesting, now these are the Skywalkers. They have the strongest ability to tap into the force. So I'm with Rod Hayes, Sister Myra. They talk about Big Mama energy the most, more than anybody you see on this platform. To me, that force represents Big Mama. Now, I think that Big Mama's biggest and best representatives are on the planet right now. And they gonna hold her down. The Skywalkers are here. They gonna hold. Listen, Big Mama got her crew out here. Man, you talking about her, her, her squad? Her squad is out here. So talk to me about this connection to the Force that we may call the dark side, that people may call evil. Some people may say, we got these names for it. Big Mama's good. Big Mama's evil. The dark is good. White is bad. White is good. White is all these names we got for this force. Talk to me about this force and our connection with it at this time in so-called 2022 going into 2023. Go ahead. Yeah, Rod, Sister Myra said you can start. The first thing, let me get a sip. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> so the the first thing that um we had to uh we look at that so you wanted to know about big mama energy and how we relate to it Th this force look, yeah 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 got it okay so what we call how, how, how we tap into it how we tapping into it right now the strongest we can right now in 2022 going into 2023 um, first of all, you have to start studying the energy. The study of Big Mama energy, you can go through kinetic science where you study the primordial noon. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to uh, modern science and study something called dark matter. Mm -hmm. um, also study something called field <laughs> and wave theory. Mm -hmm. So while you study in these sciences, this is the... Uh, the, them trying to figure out or describe the big big mama energy to you by trying to show you how it's mapped out, but they are actually mapping out the holographic imagery of what's already here. Big mama energy is pure source energy. So in electricity, it will be the electricity at its source versus a branch of electricity. We receive the energy in a field of science called epigenetics, where it explains that the intelligence doesn't come from with inside of the cell, but is received by the cell through a uh, exterior ear. Uh, it's a scientific word, but I can't think of it right now. But it's uh, receiving a, a, a signal externally on how the cell should respond. This is us receiving big mama energy on a cellular level. Ooh. 
in the study of epigenetics, this is how it would be described. But if you study epigenetics, then you know that big mama energy is described in physics as the dark matter or um, chaos energy. Chaos energy is called the dark side because only if you can stand straight up, so to speak, as the Osirian story goes, the upright man received the keys to the kingdom. And in order to stand and hold the chaos energy and not be consumed by it, you have to be one with the force, as they say in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Luke, yes. you have to be one with the force? Yes. Right? Remember what he told him? The force is neither good nor bad. But it is the intention of the wielder of the force that makes it what it is. Mm -hmm. So if you come and you're using Big Mama energy out of malice, then you're using it for, for nefarious purposes and you're going to recreate a dark residual side effect. Right? But if you use it in righteousness, now Big Mama energy becomes warm and compassionate to the user. And then it draws others in to want to be closer to the person that's vibrating on that frequency. And this is why Big Mama always looked like she, the old lady with the shoe. Mm -hmm. Had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what they're talking about. Because all of the kids want to go spend the weekend with Big Mama at the same time. And she don't care. Bring all them chaps on, baby. Right? So our elders, the women, when they go through the fires of their life, they are developed through the struggle and molded into the prime recipients of Big Mama energy. This is the way that prime creator allows our mothers to give us wisdom to temper and guide the feet of errant youth in order to prevent them from self-destruction or the destruction of others. Only one who can download the wisdom can give them the direction to keep the hostile chaos energy in line. And this is why we Big Mama always had a certain way of talking to you. She'll curse your ass out and give you everything she got because she loved you. But she had to curse you out because you was wrong. You knew you was wrong when you did it. And you knew if Big Mama found out you was going to be sitting there with your lip poked out, taking the punishment, and you did it anyway. Indeed. <clears throat> and, and you know me, I like to go, I'm always going to go astrological. That's where yes. I get my information. Yes. And um, of course, right now we're in Scorpio. Mm -hmm. And the, see, what I do is I break down uh, the royal family through the four elements. And I, I look at the air element as the father component, father spirit. I look at the fire as the sun. Uh, S-O-N, individual, and S-U-N, the collective. And I look at the earth as the daughter component. I look at it as daughter earth, not mother earth, daughter earth. And then the water is the mama component, uh, mama universe and daughter earth. So right now, the sun is focused through Scorpio, the water. So that's what's bringing um, mama to the table in this energy. Um. Uh, Brother uh, Rod, Rod mentioned the number four. Uh, the fourth sign of the Zodiac is cancer. I always look at cancer energy as Kali Ma. She is the ferocious and vicious mama who will um, do everything it takes to protect her uh, ancient, royal, universal, melanated family, uh, Kali Ma. So uh, she's the one who took out, um, you know, the queen of um, colonialism in her domain of rulership because she rules over where <clears throat> Aries, the cardinal fire, the prince, rules, its, uh, rules Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. We get to the next cardinal sign, Cancer, 
Kali Ma, the queen's domain, who rules over Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And that is why we saw that happen with the Queen of England and Virgo. And now we've got to the next cardinal sign of Libra, which took us to the king, the father domain, the air element. And, and he rules over Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. So right now, Scorpio is uh, representing the mama component, the energy of intensity um, and transformation. That's the biggest thing about Scorpio, the sign of transformation. The death of the old for a rebirth of the new at a higher level. The old has to go in order for the new to blossom. Uh, the Mayans say that the Scorpio energy transformation represents the great crossover where we're crossing over from um, one reality to a new one. The old has to go in order for the new to blossom. And with Scorpio, the water of Scorpio, we are going to see the intensification of that where it's time for transformation, which to me uh, ties into um, what is going on today when we're dealing with the 11. Um, and I'm going to attach the number 11 with the alphabet letter K, because I want to deal with the three K's here. Mm. And the mm. three K's, if we look at the lower uh, definition, KKK, the three K's of oppression. What I want to look at now is the KKK that's showing up at present in mm. this Scorpio energy in time for transformation, which is being initiated by the ferocious mama, the water element who's very protective of her, her children. The first K I wanna look at is going to deal with Kanye West. I know he's calling himself Ye now, but for the purpose of this spiritual message, I wanna use the name Kanye because Kanye was the first one who was stepping out here in this uh, warfare uh, when it comes to the um, community that is um, presently on the attack right now, and or well, have always been on the attack, but it's significantly um, evident today. When Kanye stepped out on his own, it was personal. Anytime you're dealing on the one, that's physical. That's why they say where more than one is called in my name, so shall I be, Father Spirit. You don't make it spiritual until you pull that energy. So when it's personal, you had a lot of people giving their opinion about what Kanye is doing, what's right, what's wrong about what he's doing. Is he bipolar, this, that, and then another? Um, because we were looking at him on a personal level. Now we've added another K, and that is Kyrie. That makes it spiritual in the same battle, tying these two together and now taking it into a spiritual flow. And with... Um, Kyrie, um, he, um, we all know, we all know the story, the link um, that has caused um, things to be exposed when it comes to um, who's in our corner and who's not. Um, I had a, uh, my, um, Another lady that I do presentations with, uh, Spirit Dula, did a symbolism of the Super Bowl. That used to be my forte. I used to do all the symbolism of the Super Bowl. And um, 
I finally bowed out of that. And it was surprising when she took it up in the Super Bowl where we had uh, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the um, Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. And um, Kansas City Chiefs had won the year before. And I look at the uh, Kansas City Chiefs as the Royal Indians, which I happen to believe represents us. You know, the original inhabitants of this land. And the thing is, is that um, the Chiefs represent royalty and Kansas City um, represented the Royal Indians um, who are now um, mm -hmm. getting ready to receive the karmic reward of the karmic debt that they had experienced um, because when they won the Super Bowl, it was against San Francisco 49ers. So I had to see what the San Francisco 49ers had to do with the Indians. And it took me back to 1849, the gold rush, when they opened up for the rest of the world to come in and pan gold and was given permission to do a mass genocide. And by the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, it was now time for the karmic backlash and reward of that worldwide genocide that occurred. So when Kansas City had to play against the Buccaneers, it was uh, Melanie or Spirit Dula who broke down the real um, term when it came to Buccaneers, which she had done her research to find out that the Buccaneers were about the boule. They were about our Judases. They were about the ones who lined up with the others to oppress us. And that is what has happened when we saw what happened to Kyrie and how it exposed our Buccaneers. Mm, LeBron James. Absolutely. And, yes. So exposed our Judases and our Buccaneers that have um, joined forces with the people who wants to keep our heritage and uh, who we are uh, suppressed. Um, and they send our um, them out to, uh, we get to the word uh, butt breaking. Now, what I wanna um, talk about is this 1111 to me represents coming full circle from how we got the butt breaking. What I always say is that um, Mother was going, I haven't got away from the mother, the mama aspect, because I say that what they did was to, um, I say if you use the word mother, mother is an aberrant form of the word mama. If you put an S in front of mother and mother being the water element, energy unfolds from mother to son and then from father to daughter. It has to be a negative and positive and a positive and negative polarity, a balance of those uh, opposites, a dual balance of opposites. The mother son is the physical aspect and the father daughter is the spiritual aspect. So put an S in front of mother, the water, and she smothers the fire or the power of the son. So they killed off the father, anyone who would protect the family in front of the mother so she would smother the fire or the power or the passion of the son keep him in his ego so he wouldn't grow into the father and be killed also well uh they said um and at the same time if the mother smothers the power of the son then automatically on the spiritual end the father abandons the value of the daughter Mother smothers the power of the son and the father abandons 
the value of the daughter. They said this will self-perpetuate for hundreds of years unless something phenomenal turns it around. Well, I do feel we've had those phenomenals. Um, if you ever follow me from when I first started doing my work, I was telling you about, um, there was um, what I figured those phenomenals to turn that energy around was on August 11th, 1999, we had a fixed cross in the sky, which means all the planets were sitting in the four fixed signs of the zodiac which is Taurus opposite Scorpio uh -huh. and um, Leo opposite Aquarius. Uh -huh. And in this uh, scenario on August the 11th, 1999, the sun always represents the focus. So that means Leo rulership. So it was time to reverse rulership out of the physical mundane illusion of power to a spiritual, creative, and royal power. And each time the sun went into one of those four fixed signs, we saw a teardown of the material illusionary kingdom through those four elements. Mm -hmm. Fixed fire, Leo, we saw fire things tearing down the material kingdom. Mm -hmm. Then it went into Scorpio, where we saw water tearing down the material kingdom. Then it went into Aquarius, where we saw air tearing down the material kingdom. And then Taurus, Earth tearing down the material kingdom. After four rotations, all the energy had been released to tear down this illusionary kingdom. Then on November the 8th, now notice August 11th, 8 11. Now we get November the 8th, 11 8, 2003, where we get a star of David in the sky, a configuration of planets. And the star David was telling us how we have been wounded as a royal family and how those wounds are now about to be healed in order for us to step up as the new rulers for the new Aquarian age. So the star David was sitting on its side. Matter of fact, I have a picture of it in the chart. I did a, I don't know if we can see that but i did do a chart on that i can't see it can't yeah, make the, it the, visible. the light the light is blocked your light is blocking it i see it somewhat though okay let me see if i can back it up a little bit let me see and i wish i knew which light was blocking um okay wait a minute maybe i'm getting a better picture uh -huh. but it was sitting on yeah, its I side it. i see it Myra. i see it Myra. And it was sitting on its side like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So that you saw the three levels uh -huh. of the royal family. On uh -huh. the bottom level, you had Saturn and the moon, uh -huh. which represented the father and the mama. Uh -huh. Saturn was in um, Cancer, uh -huh. Kalima, the sign of unconditional love. And the moon was in um, Taurus the sign of values. So that's the father and the mama. There was a full lunar eclipse on that day. So the father um, in cancer, unconditional love in his wounding, he becomes conditional. He's being cut off from the uh -huh. family. Uh -huh. That causes the mama to begin to compromise her value. Taurus is the sign of value. So she compromised her value and became the mistress to the slave master to get the things of value. This took the energy up to the second level where we have the brother and the sister. We have the sister as Jupiter in Virgo. Virgo is the sign of cleansing and purification of false values. Anytime we're dealing with earth, we're dealing with values. Um, in order to heal in our wisdom. Virgo is the sign of wisdom. But in her wounding, Jupiter is now representing materialism, abundance. So becoming polluted in her value through materialism. 
And then we go across, and she did not stay true to her brother. And then we go across to the brother who was represented as Mars in Pisces. We're dealing with the water again. Pisces is the sign of escapism. So um, the brother, Mars, went into escapism. Drugs, alcohol. He abandoned his woman and did not stay true to her protection. Which took us up to the third level, which was um, the sun in Scorpio, of course, on November the 8th. The sun in Scorpio, Scorpio is the sign of, of obsession at its lowest vibration. And um, so he's become obsessive because he doesn't trust the mama or the mother. He has been controlling and um, he's become controlling and abusive to the daughter, which is represented on the star David with the uh, Chiron in Capricorn. And Chiron is about our wounding. It's called the wounded healer, how we've been wounded. Uh, and in this scenario, we're talking collectively. In your birth chart, how you were wounded individually in your childhood, uh, subconsciously, and how you heal from those subconscious wounds is how you will then um, help be used as a vessel to heal others with those same type of wounds. So with the daughter as Capricorn uh, in Chiron, um, she's the only one who stayed true to her character. Capricorn is the sign of character and integrity as the daughter or as a melanated black woman. And this is also why she's being rejected. She becomes the rejected stone who becomes the cornerstone it's in her rejection and redemption, the earth is transformed. So what happened is that um, when I asked my spirit, I said, why the star of David? It took me back to the David and Goliath story. How did David slay Goliath with a stone? The first earth sign is Taurus, which represents the stone. Full lunar eclipse represents the slingshot. As the mama comes back to her value, she passes the stone of value to the sun in Scorpio, the opposite sign of Taurus. You know, I call myself a holistic because I don't believe in 12 individual signs anymore. I believe in six axes of energy. It's not until you put the two halves together, you have the whole. That's the key to everything in the universe, balance. Two halves make a whole. So opposites are the same. They're just coming from opposite perspectives. So Mama Taurus, Mama Taurus, the moon, passes the stone of value to the sun in Scorpio, which activates his emotional transformation. We're dealing with water. So it activates his emotional transformation. And that's what resurrects him into righteous father's spirit, the air element, who then redeems the value of daughter earth or daughter character. And what my spirit said to me was the polar opposite of black woman is white man in energy. So keep the black woman down in her energy so the white man can stay on top. So how do you take him down? You simply lift her up. He automatically goes down. So it's about the time of, so this is how he transforms. So this is what Scorpio is playing, this role of David. Transforming um, the value of daughter earth, redeeming her and lifting her up She's the only one who hadn't reached her sacred status. We had the king, the cardinal fire, Aries, excuse me, the prince, the cardinal fire, Aries. We had the queen, the cardinal water, Cancer. We had the king, the cardinal air, Libra. The only one who hadn't stepped into her sacred status was the princess, the cardinal earth, Capricorn. 
the rejected stone, who became the cornerstone, is in her rejection and redemption, the earth is transformed. So what happened is that's what the star David was indicating after the cross of crucifixion, the phenomenals to turn it around so that the mama backs off the sun and this was symbolized in a Super Bowl in 2013, where we had the San Francisco 49ers. You see the 13, because the 13 does apply to mama. The 13th letter of the alphabet is M. So the 49ers cancer was going up against the Baltimore Ravens, Leo, the son. Mother-son Super Bowl. This is the Super Bowl where uh, Beyonce doing the halftime performance, trip the lights. They stayed out for 34 minutes, lit up on the sun's half, Baltimore, stayed dark on the mama's half, San Francisco. Baltimore won the game. So it's indicative of the mama releasing the sun, backing up the negative pol polarity, the feminine polarity, backing up so that it can ignite the fire or the passion of the sun. He then resurrects into righteous father spirit and redeems the value of daughter earth or daughter character, putting her in her sacred status as the princess. That completes us as a star system. Now she goes into balance or into marriage with Anubis of the Sirius star system, our ancient power. So that we now balance star systems and this whole energy will reverberate throughout the cosmos. That's where we're at right now in this whole scenario. I talked about the three Ks, the first K, I talked about Kanye, I talked about um, um, Kyrie, what's going on with him today. And now a lot of people may be surprised who I think the third K is that completes this scenario. And what I'm describing is what's called the Tetragrammaton, which was an ancient, ancient energy power. And what the Tetragrammaton was indicating is that uh, the mama, the father and the son all come together to raise the fallen daughter, the tetragrammaton. So this third K that I want to bring up right now is Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick, where you get that from, Myra? Where you get Kendrick from? Oh, that's a surprise. I got to hear know. about this. That's, <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that. I didn't expect you to say that, Myra. Talk to me. I'm, I'm curious. Talk to me about where you get that K K. KKK, wow. Kanye, Ky Kyrie, and Kendrick. Okay? Yeah. Now, Kendrick Lamar. Now, I didn't know anything about Kendrick Lamar either uh -huh. until he came out with a video called The Heart Part 5. He dropped that on Mother's Day, May 8th. Mother's Day, May 8th, this year. And in this video, I, I did do the show on, again, uh, Spirit Doula. It was a four-hour video where I responded to what I gauged from what Kendrick was indicating in his video. Um, most people don't like to watch a four-hour video, but there was someone who took that video and separated the last hour and a half where I described the Kendrick video and what it meant. Um, so you might want to research that and find it. It's called The Response, as my, uh, Sister Myra responds to the Heart Part 5 Kendrick Lamar video. Um, a lot of people didn't understand it. They were really caught up on the deep fake that he used. Did you guys see it? Did you see the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I seen it. Yeah. Okay. Most people were caught up on the deep fake. They didn't really understand why he used the characters that he used. Now, um, he started off his video, I am, period, 
all of us. And what he was doing was weaving our individual to the collective. And what he used was Compton, he used LA as a focal point, but he was talking about any of our inner cities and how we have been wounded as a family, as a culture, and how those wounds have been generationally passed down. And he described what it was like to live in a culture that had been wounded generationally. And we have just taken the wounding for granted. This first bar was, I come from a generation of pain where murder is minor. And he goes on to describe how horrific it is to have become deadened to living in this culture of pain, of generational wounding. Then he uses the deep fake. He morphs into O.J. Simpson first. O.J. Simpson was the first generation, the brother, Mars in Pisces, that abandoned his woman for the, the, the white woman. That's why he used that him as the first. Then he went to Kanye, who also in his generation followed suit. Then he went to um, Jussie Smollett because Jussie, now the younger men that has been smothered in their power, um, the younger men have turned to homosexuality in a way of separating the yin and the yang are the twin souls. And then he uses Will Smith. Will Smith is with his woman. What's up there? Why they're not getting along? Well, the words he used for Will Smith was hurt people, hurt people, hurt other people. So we've all been wounded generationally as a culture. We've been hurt and we're hurting each other is what he was symbolizing in that. And I told people in that video that there was a code breaker in that video. What song did Kendrick use? He used Mar the song, I Want You. Mar Marvin Gaye? Was that Marvin, Marvin Gaye? Gaye. Yeah, Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Also another LA figure. Yeah. Okay? Because he's using LA as the focal. If he either used Indianapolis, he used he would have used Michael Jackson in the role. If he'd have used Minneapolis, he'd have used Prince in the role. But mm -hmm. because he was focused on LA, he's using LA figures. So that was the code though. That was the hidden code as to who was the background of this scenario. Why did he use the song, I Want You? It's time to redeem the value of the woman. Let her know that she's wanted by her man. Heal those wounds between the yin and the yang. Because it's not until the two halves come together, we come together to complete that spiral. Two halves make a whole, 180 degrees on one half. Energy can only go 180 degrees before it has to be balanced with the opposite 180 degrees to complete a 360 spiral. That's when you step into the wholeness or the holistic. You complete spirals for access to the next level where you start a new one at a higher vibration only for access to the next and the next. This is an infinite process of transformation, regeneration and transformation of spiritual rulership. Mm. And anytime we get into the Aquarian age, we've balanced on enough levels to evolve. Aquarius being the sign of evolution to a new level in the universe. And so, this is the process where yeah. we're evolving rulership because Aquarius evolution is opposite Leo, the creative rulers. 
Where is the sign of I know? I know I am a created ruler in order to activate that rulership. You have to know your power in order to activate your power. I know I am a created ruler in order to activate that rulership. The horizontal line of that fixed cross is Taurus and Scorpio. So in order to evolve as a creative ruler, there has to be a transformation, Scorpio, of your values, Taurus. You, you know, so that is what is unfolding here. Uh, so this is what he was describing. As we come back together as the yin and the yang in equal balance, did we come whole? That is how we evolve to the next level in creative rulership. This is when uh, Kendrick Lamar segued into the spiritual half of this um, video. You know, he said, drop the drums, like drop the heartbeat. Mm. Then he segued into the spiritual half. And now he goes, we can't, we have to complete this cycle and not pass this to the next generation. Myra, I got to, no, I'm yeah. sorry, good. I, I got a question because I'm getting excited, but good, 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 good. Okay. And then he brings in the first spiritual man, which is, uh, which was um, um, Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant talks about how um, he had success, but yet, the culture kept him wounded. Then he morphs into Nipsey Hussle. And Nipsey Hussle really brings it home. Because Nipsey Hussle starts talking about, first thing Nipsey Hussle talks about is, for the killer who sped up my demise, I forgive you. Because I saw the pain in your eyes when you pulled the trigger. What he's trying to say is we have to forgive one another because we have all been wounded and we're all not acting or operating in our true selves. And so he goes on to say, I don't have to be in the flesh to hug you. So getting our spiritual hug from the universe. And he, um, the thing is, is that there was a reason they dropped this on Mother's Day, May mm. 8th. Yeah. Because what I say is the spiritual, I say the physical man is the son. The, the um, spiritual man is the father. And mama universe, the mama. So, this is how we go back to the Tetragrammaton. Indeed. They dropped it on Mother's Day. So the mama, the father, which is the spiritual man, Marvin Gaye was used in this role. And then the physical man, Kendrick, mm. the son, to expose the re how the father, the mama, the father, and the son are here to raise the fallen daughter the earth. You you know, you know, Myra, so, yeah. you know, you, you talking about that is, is very interesting. And us talking about this force, everybody's saying the movie star Wars telling us may the force be with you. And we're, we're, let's say we're the skywalkers in this reality, in this hologram, us black people, we're the sky because yeah. we have the strongest connection to this force, whether it be because of melanin or whether it be because of whatever, whatever reason we have this strong connection to this force and the best representative for this force in this realm is let's say the black woman. So yes. the son, uh, the man, me, Rod Hayes, sister Marvin, I'm glad to have the masculine and the feminine here. Uh, me and Rod Hayes, we in a lot of the majority of black men, we absolutely adore our mother. Mama's everything. Mama is you will die 10 times in a row for mama. You yes. do whatever you got to do for mama because mama's the best representative of that force and mama's everything for you. Since we're trying to connect everything together, I would love to ask y'all, since as a black man, regardless of who y'all talk about, we got this connection to mama. Why doesn't that translate to us having connection with our mate, with a woman? We love mama. 
But when it comes to the black woman, the force that that that's still in that woman, we like these bitches ain't shit. But the mama, mama's everything, all right? But I'm not talking about mama. A brother would say, but I'm not talking about mama. No, no, no. I said that, but I, I'm not talking about not mama. Mama's everything. I'm trying to figure out, family, why do we go? We're, we're crazy for our mother. Love her to death. Love her to life. But when it comes to the woman in our race, we don't have that same type of energy that I'm moving around with right now. And I'm trying to figure out where does it get lost from? We have it for Big Mama, which represents Big Mama, but it doesn't translate to wifey or to our wife or to our lady. What happens where we lose that connection to that force with the woman that we are laying next to? Well, that's the reason I brought Kendrick Lamar in as the third phenomenal, because he is the one who explained why we have been wounded and separated as a family those wounds that have been generationally programmed and into us and generationally passed down. It's now time to heal that. This has all been in divine order. This is an alchemical process, turning what is base into gold, refining. <clears throat> you know, I always say uh, the only sin is the abuse of power spiritually. It's opposite the physical where there's a multitude of sins, but spiritually, there's only one sin, and that's the abuse of power. Because this is the premise behind why uh, Asar was cut into the 14 pieces. Because he was cut into the 14 pieces by set. There's many levels. We're dealing with a multitude of levels here. So at what level, what, depend, what particular level you're looking at is what face is showing. So at the highest level, it was the father set, the ancient father set, who cut Osar, the ultimate son, the fire, Sagittarius, into those 14 cycles of time till he could mature and how to use his powers righteously. When we're dealing with the air element, when we're dealing with the father component, he is father spirit, the father of righteousness. And he speaks to you externally through how you think, your mind, the air element. So he's the father of righteous thinking. He wants to create a collective righteous mindset. He had to cut the ultimate sun, the fire, down into 14 cycles of time till he could mature and how to use his ultimate power righteously. And this is why I'm talking about Asar as Sagittarius. The last fire sign, the ultimate sun, the fire is the sun, and the planetary ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter, the great beneficent. Whatever Ju Ju Jupiter touches, it brings in abundance. So the sun, Sagittarius, or Asar, was too prone to abuse his power. That is why he was cut down, so he could not abuse that power. When our predecessors abused their power, they screwed up the world. If the son, the ultimate son of power, abused his power, it would have been detrimental to the universe. So he had to be cut down and learn how to use that power righteously. And the last piece they couldn't find was the penis, which was his power to create. And um, he was uh, brought back by Aset and the sister Nephthys. Okay, but they couldn't find the penis. Now, Asar, our collective men of power, have now matured to the point where they're now learning how not to abuse that power. And now they are worthy of gaining their full collective empowerment. This is important as to the Scorpio energy we're in right now. Because starting with Leo, the fire, the sun, the resurrection of the sun, sitting next to Virgo, the, um, uh, the, the, the wisdom. When you put Leo and Virgo together, you have the Sphinx. Body of the lion, Leo, the power, the head of the woman, Virgo. Wisdom, power guided by wisdom. This is the rulership where you supersede your ego, Leo, open your heart, also Leo, to the value of wisdom, Virgo. This is the rulership that is supposed to be fulfilled 
as we moved out of the opposites. We got, you always fulfill through the opposite. So when we moved out of the Piscean age, the opposite of Virgo into the Aquarian age, the opposite of Leo. So we are now at the point to fulfill this rulership where we supersede the men had to supersede the ego. They can't come out of the e they can't come out of the matrix in ego. So they had to supersede their ego, open their heart. This is the role was played by Trinity and Neil in the movie The Matrix. Remember, Trinity had to resurrect Neil from the dead or the illusion of power through his ego. Um, the Oracle told her she was going to fall in love with the one. She was in love with Neil that made him the one. So that's how she resurrected him by passing that knowing to him. He doubted his power. They had to take him to the Oracle and she said, yeah, you're not the one. I don't know what you're waiting on. And she points to the sign above the door that says, know thyself. If you don't know you're the one, then you're not the one. That's the Aquarius and Leo age. Aquarius being, I know, Leo being the creative ruler. So you have to know your power in order to step up to that power. So Trinity knew and she passed that knowing to the, the Neo and that she resurrected him from the dead or the illusion of power from the ego. And then in the second movie, The Matrix, he brings her back to life. Now he brings her back to life. He goes internal. First, he removes the bullet, the impurity. Then he goes back in and massages her heart. And the first thing she says when she opens her eyes is now we're even, which means now we're equal. Now we can come together as one. They're telepathically connected. She's in the background, the internal, the feminine, giving him guidance through her wisdom. And he moves out as the sun and exposes the power. So she had to resurrect him as high priestess. The women are the high priestesses. If you look at Capricorn as the very last earth sign, the earth element represents the daughter component. Capricorn is the sign of character and integrity. It's the Cinderella energy. It's the rejected stone. It's the sign of rejection. So she has to come back to the security of her value as a high priestess, set standards, challenge her man to rise to meet those standards. That's his resurrection. As he rises to meet the standards, to claim the love of the high priestess, that is where he comes out of his ego and is released from the matrix. Once he's released from the matrix, now he has a perspective of who she is as the high priestess, and now he can redeem her in her value and lift her up. What did we talk about with the star David? Redeeming the value by lifting her up, automatically taking down the white man. How David slays the giant lie or Goliath. This is the energy that is unfolding. And that's why it had to happen the way it happened. Mm. It's an alchemical let me, process. Let me, hey, hey, Rod, you got it because uh, we don't have that much time left, and I do want to oh, get to boy. some Q and A. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, it's all it's all good. This is this is powerful. Um, <laughs> Rod, do you remember that? Do you remember the question? The exact question I asked? So you want me to repeat yeah, it? Or why you... the love that we have for our mothers don't show up in our relationship? Don't translate. Yes. I... yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> So it's, it's socially engineered by people in nefarious places with nefarious agendas. It's by design. Mm -hmm. The nature of the man is to grab his woman and protect her from the storms of life. Right? Mm -hmm. That's his nature. When he's acting contrary to his nature, only two things is present. An uh, outside force is driving him in a different direction, or there's something there in the training process where he never understands how to translate the energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we look at women speak in a certain um, language that most men don't catch, right? So like when Sister Mario is giving the description of the relationship between Trinity and Neo, mm -hmm. right? Neo's story as a lonely peasant in the computer world 
did not have any excitement until he ran across Trinity. The name Trinity is representative of three. Or they say the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, three sisters, uh, three belts of the king, the Orion belt. The great father walks with the black dog on his heel, Sirius A. Mm. And Sirius B is the little dog that followed the little dog. It's a mm -hmm. puppy. Mm -hmm. So the father is teaching his companion how to be a good parent. But really, it's the great mother that's teaching the father using the canine as how to be a great father by learning how to be attentive to something outside himself. Mm -hmm. So Sister Myra brought up the refinement of the divine masculine by raising the son to be just like the father in essence and quality, right? It's the same applies with relationships, right? What we see is what we interpret to be the norm. Our only quest is to be normal. But every now and then you have one that has a desire to not follow the norm because it doesn't feel right to them. And then they find themselves walking a lonely road, getting bumped from left to right, trying to figure this shit out so that they can fix it. Mm -hmm. Right? So the men, we know we love our mama because she gave us unconditional love from day one. But we have to find a woman whose love can catch the baton in your heart from your mother to her. We disregard the spiritual linking process, which is different from our physical courtship. If the woman can love you to the same level that your mama love you, you will know how to treat her. Because it's in your heart, the same love that you got for your mother She's drawing the same love to her because she's drawing it from your mother. She's getting a mitochondrial transfer of energy. Mm. Mm. Mama is giving you to the one that she feels is best for you. Mm. Right? So when the woman has unconditional love for you, that means she ain't trying to trap you. She's looking for a partner, not a project. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. Then you start to man up and you have a different relationship dynamic with your woman. Um, Grandma Nipsey told me to do a class on relationship education. She said, anybody going to get good at fucking if they keep doing it. It's relationship education we need. Mm. Talk, right? to him, bro. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him, bro. So yeah, we know you. how... We, we know how to have sex, but we don't know how to communicate with our partner. The, the, the thing that we need to discover is when we learn how to communicate with our partner, the sex takes on a higher charge of spiritual energy in the dynamic that make it a positive, powerful, creative force of manifestation. And that's how you find your best life. And I always so, tell our women, I tell our women, we have to love our men like we would love our brother. Mm, Unconditional. Mm. Okay? Talk to him, Myra. Because, to you know, because they men have been manipulated by women. We've all been wounded. Yeah. And that's what Kendrick Lamar is telling us. We got to stop pointing fingers mm. and understand that each of us have been wounded and now see past those wounds. So we have to love our men like we would love our brother. That means I'm, I want to help you come out of this matrix. Like Trinity, I say if Neil didn't have a Trinity, he would still be in the matrix. I want you out of that matrix, not because I'm trying to get with you or I want something from you, but I love you like I would help my brother out of that matrix, you see. Mm. And when he realizes that you value him, you know, because you love him unconditionally and it's not no manipulation occurring here, then that is when he steps up, you know, that's when he steps up and validates that power, you know, for that love, you see. So it's just a process. It's just a, it's a process that we're going through. Energy, there's rules to energy and there's a process 
and how those energies unfold. And this is just the story. We're the physical manifestation of this larger universal energy story of and how we are, the, this alchemy process, turning what, see, the negative and positive polarity, no pain, no gain. To the same extent, the pain is going to be the same extent the gain. But what a lot of people don't understand about that is you don't blend energy. You harmonize energy. So you have to complete one half, the negative polarity. That's what we completed today is what I'm trying to tell you. Ooh, On 11-11-22, this is signifying we've completed the sacrificial struggle half of this alchemy process. This is the official completion, you're saying? This is the official completion. And now wow. we're getting ready to activate the opposite in equal measure in spiritual reward and spiritual empowerment. Like I told you, Scorpio, start with Leo. Leo, uh, the resurrection of the sun through Virgo, cleansing him and purifying him of false values so he can now ascend. The first six signs are physical. The second six signs are spiritual. So Virgo is the last sign in the physical half. So once uh, the sun, Leo, has been cleansed and purified of false values through Virgo, the virgin mama, he can now ascend above the horizon line into the spiritual domain through Libra, where he can now get into a partnership with his own spirit and come to his individual wholeness or Christhood. His mate will also get into partnership in Libra, come to her Christhood, and only then can the two come together as twin souls when they're both in balance with the each their own spirit. That leads them to Scorpio, where we're at now. Scorpio is the sign of bonding and transformation. So the bonding of the twin souls is what's going to activate the transformation, what the Mayans call the great crossover, which will cross them over to Sagittarius, where we step up to the fulfillment and the abundance of our collective power through Jupiter energy, the great beneficent. This is where the ultimate sun, Asar, Sagittarius becomes equal to the high priestess or the princess Capricorn at the winter solstice. So that's the highest aspect of the son and the daughter now becoming fulfilled and equal at their highest vibration in the fulfillment of this universal purpose that's been unfolding for many, many lifetimes. Myra, you activated. I feel you. I feel your energy now, hey, Myra. You me, activated, Myra. Then you never need love Myra, you love. <laughs> What's going on with Kyrie, Kanye, and and uh -oh. get this too? Let me tell you something else with this. This is what got me excited. Yeah. Like I said, the number K is the number eleven. No, no, no. no, no. But check this out, Myra. I don't mean to cut you off, but I need to ask you and yeah. um before I forget this question because I had it when you was talking. And, uh, no, I want. I don't want to forget it. Both you and Rod, answer me this. You said K equals 11. Yes. You brought up Kyrie. Yes. Why is it that Kyrie, these are all Ks, Kyrie, Kendrick, and Kanye. Kanye. No, yeah. hold on, I'm, I'm going to keep going. The Ks. Okay. Kanye, okay. Kendrick, Kyrie, Kodak Black. It seems like there's so many Ks. This is, there was another K that I forgot about. It was Kodak Black. If y'all remember another K, another rapper with the name K, but all these rappers with K's in their name are saying they're Hebrew. Kodak Black <laughs> identified as Hebrew. Kendrick identified as Hebrew. Kyrie said, hey, my name means uh, Yahweh uh, in Hebrew. Kanye saying is, I'm the blood of Christ. I'm Hebrew. Why is all of these brothers with the K in their name in the last five years saying that they identifying as Hebrew? What's the connection? What's What's These the are the Skywalkers <laughs> that you wanted to talk about. Zulu. Corresponding with that 11. And now we're 11, 11, 22. <laughs> this is the last cycle before oh, for evolution <laughs> to a new level. Okay? We're here, you guys. I promise you. I've been talking about this for about 35 years, and I'm seeing all the pieces now coming together in fruition. 
It's only now for us to see it. See, spirit don't prove itself in fraction. It only proves itself when it's ready to fulfill and complete. Two halves make a whole. The balance of opposites, a negative polarity, which is sacrifice and struggle, the physical vessels of sacrifice and struggle, now becoming equal to the spiritual energy of righteousness, of a new evolution of a righteous humanitarian rulership. Aquarius is the sign of the humanitarian. So it's time to come out of the abuse of power to a humanitarian empowerment as we evolve to a new level in the universe. It's fulfilling a purpose that's been unfolding through many lifetimes. It takes more than one lifetime to unfold a universal purpose. We have to go back to our subconscious to access that information, the entrance into your Akashic records, which is Pisces energy, the subconscious. We have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. Father represents the conscious mind, the air element, and mama represents the subconscious mind, the water element. Pisces is the sign of the subconscious, the ultimate water, the ultimate sign. Big mama, mama universe. I call Pisces the fairy godmama of the Cinderella story. And Capricorn, daughter Earth, the black woman of character, is Cinderella. She's been rejected in her value because she is the energy of character. Character is not respected in the land of illusion. We've been in the land of illusion. That is why she was put at the bottom of the totem pole in the physical illusion, because in the opposite spiritual, she is of the highest value, the high priestess but she has to be redeemed and lifted up. That's what the star David was telling us. How do we heal those wounds? Look at where this. Where they I cut off the father. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. I get look, passionate. <laughs> look, at, look at this irony. So the shield of David mm -hmm. is the family crest for the growth and development. Wow. Right. Yes. They call it a gang sign. We call it the family crest. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, my mama was a biker, outlaw, vice lord, biker. Mm -hmm. I'm a GD. And my daughter is a P-Stone. Now, the prophecy said that he stood on Pisces and Vesica Pisces as he reaped the rewards of heaven. Mm -hmm. What do that mean? He's talking about his children that proves the quality of individual he is in determining his ability or his fitness to rule, right? So the left foot is your stepchild. The right foot is your birth child, right? So the mirror flips off Pisces. Pisces is um, Pisces and Vesica Pisces is Cancer. And my stepdaughter is a Pisces and my daughter is a Cancer, right? So, and at the knees of the grand man rest two nieces, right? So you had to be evaluated by two nieces to determine your quality and quantity or your right to rule by how you behave with your nieces. Right, but the monkey carry his child on his hip, so that's his sons, and his sons ride around to learn how to be a silverback just like they dad, right? But they love their mama and will overthrow his ass if he's a rogue <laughs> ruler. So in the gorilla clan, if the sons say that the father is a righteous man and I want to be like him, then they allow the man to move up the clan ranking. The higher you get up the ranking, you end up with something called the Congo key. The Congo key is the key to the jungle. And the jungle in this case is a concrete jungle. So Myra Moss brought up the KKs and King Kong is spelled with KK. And Kong is Ong. Ong is Aang using Grimm's Law of Grammar. All vowels are interchangeable. Aang is the avatar. 
And the avatar was the one who was able to bend the water, the fire, the earth, and the air so that he can come from the ether. But in order to come from the ether, he needs to determine the fifth element. And the fifth element is pure unadulterated ether, which is unadulterated love energy. Yes. And this is the energy that Big Mama bring when she tell me to go get my sister's shit. And I'm coming to get my sister's shit because she said, don't let nobody take nothing from your brothers or your sisters. Yes. And yes. the earth belonged to the daughters of the earth, which is yes. my sisters. Yes. Yes. And yes. so to and determine in the right to rule, the wise ruler who is a righteous man don't want the power. He want to put the power where the power go that allows the machine to run the way it's supposed to run. Mm. Yes. And when it run the way it's supposed to run, you don't put off toxic waste. Mm. Yes. So you restore the matriarchy. You mm -hmm. put Big yes. Mama back on her throne. Yes. By telling all of the people who she is, prime creator, you in her uterus. Right? And even yeah. the grand man who the 12 signs of the Zodiac is still in her uterus. Yes. 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 That's why they're trying to eliminate the word woman now. You understand? Yeah. Because the root word for womb. Yeah. The womb of man. See? That's why they don't want you talking about the womb of man or woman. That's really big mama. That's how they're trying to eliminate. This is a spiritual warfare. And we're at the highest level of vibration in this warfare. And their attack, uh, mama is the great regenerator where um, when we look at the corrupted father, the system of illusion, okay? Um, the father of degeneration versus the mama of regeneration. That's the warfare. That's the ultimate warfare. And we got those many in-betweens. Mm. So eliminate mama. I used to do a demonstration when I used to do my lecture circuit on the East Coast. I went to New York and what I would do is I'd have them set up a lamp. And the lamp would be plugged in. You would see the light bulb. That would be the sun. I would say, this is the sun, the light on the lamp. Then the lamp was the foundation or the father, the external, the basis for the light. Then you would take the copper wiring in the cord as the daughter, the unbiblical cord, and you plug it into the bank of electricity, which is cosmic mama. All energy comes from mama universe. Mm -hmm. So you'd plug it in there and that's how all those four components work together to generate energy. And what I would do is snatch the cord out of the, out of the socket and the light would go out. I said, they took the daughter, the cord, unplugged us from the mama, took the cord and turned it into a battery so they could control and manipulate what and how much we empower. You see, mm. disconnect us from the bank of electricity, which is mama universe. We're made in the image of the universe. Daughter Earth, mama universe, the internal, the feminine polarity, mm -hmm. father spirit, the air element, and the son of power. Those are the four components of the royal energy of the universe. We're the individual vessels that has a vibrational connection Mm -hmm. to that highest collective energy of those four components in the universe. And now we're getting divine intervention. We have been usurped from our true parents, righteous father, spirit and mama universe. We've been under the auspices of the father of illusion, the ma of tricks, the matrix and the ma of terror, materialism. Now the mama bird is pushing the baby birds out of that proverbial material nest to show us we have been liberated. We can fly. We no longer need uh, that yoke of materialism. Uh, we no longer have that keeping us grounded in this physical illusion. They tell you in the last days, they'll be throwing money in the streets because it has no value. Well, we're fast approaching that now. 
all these components, there's no, that's only an illusion of value when we're dealing with money. You can't serve two masters. You have spiritual power versus material power. The material power is now being shut down so we can liberate ourselves and step up to our spiritual power. We've been using our material power as a crutch. Bobby Hammond said they would give us all the money we want if we could give them a little bit of our power. Mm. We're now stepping into our power. They're resisting. They're like a uh, a spinning top, ready to fall and going crazy. They know what time it is. They hey, know I'm, exactly I'm, what time it is. I'm, I'm gonna get to uh, before we end. I definitely want to get to a, uh, one question from the fa from the family. But uh, before I do that, Rod Hayes, you was go about to say something about the Zulus and the Skywalkers, and the people keep asking, "What was Rod about?" You 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 uh, something happened where you didn't say it. They want to know what was you about to say when you when you said when you said the word Zulu. In reference so, to Skywalker. We got tribes called Skywalker tribes. Zulu, it means the people from the sky. That's that's what it literally means, you're saying. Yeah, that's what I sent you in the in the in the text that it came yeah. right, 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 right. All right. So um Zulu was called Skywalkers. Um the reincarnation of Shaka Zulu is Chief Malik Angel Bay, aka Jeff Ford. And um, the Zulu clan have a mirror clan over here called Skywalkers, right? And um, I sent you that uh, a little bit of a write up on it. Um, but the red top Skywalkers, today we call them treetop. Pyrus. Those are original bloodlines, ancient bloodlines from the land. Those were the, so when you are at the close of the age, we we tribe up again. You gotta remember this, it's important. At the close of the age, we tribe up again. When we tribe up, we have to be able to match it up so that we can show the people where the tribes are at. Big Tuki come from the Crooked Man, Skywalker Blue Lodge. Mm -hmm. And when he, the Crips generated the bloods by default. So he created, him and Raymond Washington created both when they created one. So the balance, the energy is to organize the structure so that the chiefs can know how to read what's taking place on the land. This goes back to the whole star map that Sister Myra was painting earlier in the returning to redeem the sister and you gotta know who everybody is. So you got different Skywalker clans. The blue lodge comes from the father line. That's the air. Remember what she was saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The red lodge comes from the mother line. That's the fire. Right? Then you got a um the, the these are the skywalkers. Yes. Right? And they notorious. We used to have treetop villages, but when they chopped down the trees and um, to get to us and burn down the forest, they destroyed those villages. You used to be able to leave Florida and go to Louisiana without ever coming out of the treetops. So that, that's when you're saying the trees was much bigger, you're saying? Yeah, they was bigger and they was the whole land was forested. When you say That's, big, how big was these trees? Would you say, like, like, like? I'm trying to. Well, you seen California redwoods, right? Yeah. These was about close to that, but they more bushy trees. They was the uh, um, cypress trees. Right. Right. Um. So in the Gullah Wars, they couldn't get to us. So they began to burn down the forest and chop down the trees. And they monetize it in the process mm. Mm. by creating the great lumber industry. 
Mm. We forget that the lumber industry was created to destroy the land, the, the hiding places of the indigenous people. Because when we ran in the thickets, they couldn't do nothing but get fucked up. Mm. So they started the lumber industry. Where did all that wood go? Right? They built they build furniture and shit out of it all over the world. People ordered the, the cypress woods is famous in Europe. So they was chopping our trees down as an act of war, but they was monetizing it on the back end. Damn, Everything yes. they did, they geared to warfare, ways against us. They determined how to monetize it on the back end so that they get in double indemnity on the payment. And you don't even know that they don't even have no business here. You going along to get along because this is just the way it is. Mm. But if you're going to be a ruler, you can't think like that because only subjects think like that. Yes. A ruler yes. got to understand who's ruling. Why is he ruling? And why is he a better ruler than I am? If it's tyrannical abuses of the people was taking place, and he is a benevolent ruler, he moves for power. Right? And when he moves for power, it's more out of the divine order than it is out of the ego perception. How do you know the difference? All of those despotic generals that get slaughtered, for uh, they don't have spiritual backing of the great mother, mm -hmm. right? And some of them didn't even know that they should have called on her, and that's the only reason they didn't have protection. But the ones who know how to utilize the energy, those are the ones that can walk in the middle of, or as they say, walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil. Everything that they do to weaponize against us, we have to use it as the come up. Just like when they weaponize the contracts against us, now Kanye need to get out the contract, so all he got to do is say Jew. And he out the contract. Absolutely. Yes, he wanted that. I, I, I want to ask y'all, uh, wow, this is, wow, this is, an amazing show. I'm like, I always say I'm thankful and I'm proud to be a vessel and to be a tool to bring forth this information to the people and to work with amazing uh, speakers such as yourself. So I want to thank y'all once again for coming on the show. And before I'm going to ask one last question and we're going to get out of here. We're not going to get the Q and A. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the last question and we're going to end it that way family. Um, Before I do, they were asking about supporting y'all. So can y'all both give your cash app to the family before I ask this last question? Uh, starting with Sister Myra. Tell me your cash app, Sister Myra. Uh, my, my cash app is um, Myra Moss, uh, you know, the dollar sign, Myra Moss uh, 813. That's uh, Myra with an H, Myra Moss, or? No, no, no H. Okay, just Myra Moss 813. And uh, put that up. And Rod Hayes, what's your what's your cash up again, brother? It's a dollar sign capital S, I K capital A P E. Okay, it's a gate. Yes. Okay. So um, family, make sure you show love. This is independent media. Uh, you know we we not. Are we not on our Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal shit? <laughs> so, you know, we don't get them kind of, we don't get that type of support. We know them people don't pay, you know what I'm saying? We on the other side. We we represent that new energy here in the planet, that Kyrie, that KKK energy <laughs> in the planet. Yes. Right? That Kyrie, yes. you know, Kanye, Kendrick, whatever energy in the planet. Yes. Yes. Make sure you yes. still love our sister Myra. Uh, her cash app on the screen also. Y'all asked a little early. Also, the brother Rod Hayes, his cash app, dollar sign, uh, sick ape. And um, to end the show with, uh, I want to ask y'all, in terms of Earth, you know, we got this whole galaxy. 
We talk about mm-hmm. Sirius. We talk about Andromeda. We talk about Pallades. We talk about Orion. We talk about so much. The cosmos seems so vast when we look at the sky. In terms of Earth and what Earth represents to the rest of the universe, how important is the resurrection of the original man and woman, whether you want to call it the melanated man and woman, whether you want to call it the Asiatic man, and whatever you want, whatever name you want to use, how important is our rise, is our resurrection to the rest of the universe? Like, is this is this not not that important, or is the whole universe watching, waiting, and depending on this, and anticipating this, and this is going to change? Like, are we just changing the world, or are we changing the galaxy and the universe? How do we fit on a big scale in terms of us rising up and understanding who we are, and raising our consciousness? Well, we do have the entire Galactic Council involved intimately in this process. Oh, yeah, right now? Yeah. Okay. Talk to so me about that. This is the, the Earth zone is what is known outside of Earth. And the Earth zone is from the sun to Pluto. That's the Earth zone. From the sun That's to the Pluto. Earth zone. Earth, okay. So the Earth God. The God of Earth, or the one who gets to rule Earth, claims the kingdom of heaven, which is the entire Earth zone. The claiming of it is reserved for the gods, so to speak. But when we say in gods, we just mean higher dimensional intelligence. When they say God, they mean a uh, long stringy hair white man standing on the cloud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? When we say God, we're talking about higher spiritual expressions of the self in higher dimensional form affecting what's taking place on little old Earth, a little dot in the Milky Way galaxy. Mm-hmm. Right? So the involvement because of what took place between the gods of the earth versus the Anunnaki, which you know it as the War of the Titans, Mm -hmm. right? And when the um, Galactic Council come in, they created what's called a Pleiadian light lock, Mm. right? Mm. And the Pleiadian light lock takes the form of a Merkaba. It's called the Star Life. This is the base design for the hologram. The Macabre, Star David. It's, it's the Star David is the two-dimensional rendition of the, of the three-dimensional right. okay. star life. Okay. To who he hold it in his hand on the cover of the Emerald Tablets. Okay, okay. Right? It's like a, a pyramid going up and a pyramid going down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? So what is the pyramid a symbol of? The word pyramid means fire in the middle. So now it's the fire in the middle of the individual. They're talking about the soul, and that's the heart chakra. The pyramid is the is the transfer of energy at the close of the age. Now watch this. Remember earlier I was telling you when the woman loves you the same as your mother, there's a transfer. Yes. Mama pass you off. I'm leaving my son with you. This is who I picked for you to be with. Mm-hmm. The new woman that you don't, you better learn how to respect her. Because while her pyramid is rising and your mother's is meeting her, they're going to form that um, symbol in your heart. Mm. Like, like two pieces, like two keys connected. Mm. And that's when the energy transfer. Mm. It's like a bell go off. Ding. And now what's in your heart is the sum total of the entirety of creation. Being expressed in a love changeover. Damn. Mama passed you. T- you ain't going to marry her if mama don't approve. I don't care what you say. Mm. And I don't care how nice mama treat her. Because she's courteous and can, if her love don't match, those two pyramids can't meet can't in meet. the middle. It's some deep shit. Gold key, <laughs> silver key. 
mother line, father line. The keys cross at the heart. Cross my heart, hope to die. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's a love story being told to express the union of galactic forces mm. played out as a simple day-to-day -day life drama of an ordinary individual trying to become something extraordinary. So the saying is, what's wrong with me raising myself up to be my own God? If I'm my own God, I exercise my own will. You remember earlier we were talking about free will mm -hmm. and how the law of use is applied. If you don't use it, somebody else can use it for you. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else using it for you, that means you surrender to somebody else's jurisdiction and you no longer are using your free will. We supposed to use our free will to come together to overthrow the tyranny because we love our family more than we love them enemies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So the, the nature of the son is to protect the entire family because the lessons that he got at the feet of the master and the master is mama. And out of the lips of mama fell the wisdom that landed on the top of the head of the son. Mm. Man, Sister Mara, close this out for us, Sister Mara. Close oh, it out. Heidi. Man, Very this good. is a powerful show. Uh, yeah. Me, you know, being energy, I describe from the energy. Yes. So I always say the four elements are like the four pistons in an engine. You have the air and the water, which is Father Spirit and Mama Universe. And then you have the earth, the daughter component, and the fire, the sun component. So it's like all four has to come into balance or into harmony in order to generate the power, just like I was talking about the lamp, you know, mm -hmm. the four components has to come together equally in their vibration in order for it to become whole or full spiral. Spirit is spiral. So it has to come full circle. That's how you have to use all four of those components, the four elements, like the four pistons in an engine, uh, Father Spirit, Mama Universe has to come into balance with the vessels of daughter earth and then the son of power. So when all four of those are in balance and in equal harmony, that is how you generate the power from the universe to, you know, the earth, um, you know, through the sun. Uh, so it's about balance. I say the key to the universe is balance. So um, when you complete, we've complete, we've completed the physical half, the sacrifice and struggle. Um, and now we uh, can come into balance with the positive polarity and the negative polarity is the sacrifice and struggle that deals with the son and the daughter. And then when we come into the maximum of that half, 180 degrees, now it can be matched with the opposite half from Father, Spirit, and Mama Universe in balance. That's the key to everything. There has to be balance. Two halves make a whole. So 180 degrees on one half, completing that half, which we just did today. Now we can activate the opposite half in response in equal measure. You know, you don't blend energy. You have to complete one half. And once you complete that half, then it will be automatically there's an opposite response in equal measure completing that 360 degree spiral. Once you complete that 360 spiral, that's like opening up a vortex. And what that does is evolve you to the next level. This is an infinite process of transformation, regeneration, and evolution of spiritual rulership. And each time we complete a cycle, it gives us access to the next level where we start a new one at a higher vibration for access to the next level. at a higher. So this is an infinite process of spiraling to the highest resources of the universe. There's many mm -hmm. levels. It's not about time. It's about levels spiraling okay. to each level as we get to the higher and higher levels of the universe and able to tap into the higher spiritual vibrations 
of those uh, righteous components of the universe. You have the fire element, which is the passion to protect, like Brother Rod was saying, the sun component. You have the air element, that's the father. He's the righteousness. He teaches us how to think righteously. You have the mama, she's unconditional love for her family. And then you have the daughter who deals with values and character and healing. So when you get all four of those working in harmony and in equal measure, that is how you activate that energy vibration. You complete a spiral and open up that vortex, evolve to the next level, only to start a new cycle at a higher vibration, complete that cycle and continue to um, ascend you know, and tap into the highest universal energy, which is based on righteousness, unconditional love, character, and the passion and the power to protect rights, what's right. Excellent. So yeah, Excellent. it's a universal agenda. Mm. Excellent. Hey, well, I want y'all to leave your contact information for the people so they could get in touch with y'all and uh, contact with y'all for any services or any anything y'all have to offer. Uh, my website, um, uh, uh, just plain sistermyra.com. Um, that's the only way to schedule with me is through my website, but it's out to December of next year. Now you can't get an appointment before December of next year. Um, and once you do get an appointment, <laughs> um, then you no, know, um, you can then text me, you know, for, uh, questions or communication, um, but, um, there's not, uh, that's probably the only way, you know, that I'm opened up right now is through the website, you know, and those who have already got a consultation, um, and I have given out my phone number, but the only thing that I respond to is my text message. I don't, I don't go to voicemail. I don't, um, I screen all my calls and I don't do emails. So only way to contact me is through uh, the text message. That's the way I can respond. Um, indeed. It's overwhelming otherwise. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Rod Hayes, what's your contact info, my brother? Okay, y'all catch me at uh, the T H E S I K A P E on Instagram. That's where I do my lives at. That's where I do most of my posting now. Um, I check my Facebook and share updates from my memories on Facebook. On Rod Hayes, and y'all can see a lot of the stuff that I did in the past. When it come up, I just be resharing, and those be old receipts. Um, that's uh, people share my videos on YouTube all the time, so y'all can scroll through them. But um, the, um, a minute ago, since Myra Moss was saying something, made me think about something my mama used to tell me. She said, "If you don't start nothing." And you make sure you right, you can't lose a fight. <laughs> and I believed her. I believed her so wholeheartedly that I never lost a fight that mm. I didn't start. And mm. I don't start wow. fights. Right? Wow. And that energy carries me to this day. Right? Stand in the position of right. Tell the truth, shame the devil, restore the balance, bring back the matriarchy. Right? If you put the power where the power go, it run the way it's supposed to run. Raise the matriarchy. If a man can rise no higher than his woman, a nation can rise no higher than his woman, make her God and her kingdom becomes heaven. Mm -hmm. So this is how you return heaven to earth. Mm -hmm. You raise the, the, the raise the mother to her prominent status. Mm -hmm. Give her her rightful due, and she'll reward everybody in the game. Mm -hmm. It's a chain reaction, mm -hmm. right? But we have to remember, we ain't came on those ships. We was already here. Go talk to the earth. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Anybody yes. tell you you came on the ship, they a slave catcher. Yep. They're trying to keep Don't you in psychological off. slavery that makes yes. it easier to keep you in physical bondage without you ever knowing Absolutely. you a trustee in a 
prison state. Absolutely. Meritorious manumission. Right? So now I become an elder. I'm the wrong motherfucker to make the elder because I'm not going to leave none of this dumb shit for my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finna be they not finna be fighting no racism no sexism yeah. no identity crisis as if they boys or girls that not on my watch I absolutely just, we not finna keep doing the sex trafficking the kids adrenochrome harvesting um government yes. planned assassinations and mass yes. wipe out the whole sizable portions of the population in order to continue yeah. to perpetuate the story that we came from some motherfucking where else when we was already here so they can Absolutely. keep our people delirious Absolutely. to who they Absolutely. is. But we ain't Absolutely. falling for the bullshit. We here and we back for every motherfucking thing yes. to help. Plus tax, extra credit, and exile yes. for those who don't get down with the game. <laughs> and if you if you want, you yes. can be all of the yes. black, more colored, Negro, and all that shit you want to be, but stay out of these feather wearing motherfuckers' yes. way while we cleanse the land of the imposters. Because if you get in the way, you're going to yes. get treated like an imposter, a fraud, <laughs> a fake, hey, hey, fraud, what, what, an what, invader what, on the land among the motherfucking soldiers. <laughs> we ain't what, marching. This ain't Martin Luther motherfucking King, and this what, ain't no we shall overcome. <laughs> this is a hostile takeover of what was already ours to get Big Mama yeah. shit back. So my sisters can have a shit and we can raise the matriarchy. Yes. So we can grab, yes. they can get Donald the Duck Trump. They can get Joe the motherfucking <laughs> absent-minded body. Yes. I yes. don't give yes. a fuck yes. who they do it, but get my sisters yes. back they motherfucking shit before we yes. be tired of motherfucking negotiations. Hey man, I mean, that, that was, uh, wow. What a way to end it. I mean, I, hey, that, Sister Barbara, this is what a big mama's message is right here. <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a lot of profanity. A lot of profanity, Sister Barbara, but he, he got the message across. Uh, you yes. know, you throw a couple uh, of them, um, them preppy epithets in there. People understand you clearer and they know your level oh, of yeah, sincerity. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. Yeah, indeed. Um, indeed. Uh, Brother Rod, I really love doing the show with you. You know, I've always loved your messages and you know, and the information you impart. It's always been in sync with the things that I've been bringing together and you help me plug in pieces to help me see a fuller uh, reality of what, you know, I'm pulling together. And of course, I love you so much, Brother Rich. You know, you have definitely served us very well in putting the people that you're bringing to the table to bring this information uh, to our family. And that's what we are. We're family. And now we got to start acting like family to one another. And last of all, I love my melanated universal family. I love you all, you know, and now we are getting ready. It's our time now. We're getting ready to step up. But you got to know it. If you don't know it, you don't have it. Know who you are. Know the power you have and step up to it. We can't be victims. We can't be act acting like a victim as we're stepping up as the new rulers for the new age. You can't be a tenant ruler. You can't, you know, uh, send out your power and then look over your shoulders and wonder if it's going to work. You got to be secure. That's the earth element, internal, being secure from within. And spirit moves inside out not outside yes. in. Yes. We're yes. transmitters yes. as well as receivers is what we send out as to what we spiral back. If we're sending it out at 20%, we're going to spiral it back at 20%. If we're sending mm. it out at 80%, we're going to spiral it back at 80%. It's inside out, not outside in. Mm. That's how we connect from the internal to the universal whole and step up hey. to who we are as holistic people. We don't work in piecemeal. We work as holistics. And, it's and part of that holistic, it's part of that holistic, in order to do the right thing, sometimes you buy the motherfucker, chop a motherfucker in the throat, oh, black man. the motherfucking <laughs> eye, push your snot box back. Oh, I ain't with that now. Look, 
Rod, man, come on. Lord, we got man. Sister Myra here, Rod. Come on, man. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him on that. <laughs> We're not only talking about Kali Ma. That's Kali Ma. I got y'all thinking that in order to do what's right, you got to be a pacifist. No. Yes. Some, yes, yes, sometimes yes. you need to come out that pacifist position and yes. can check the goddamn devil. Yes. And that's what he needed that moment in order to straighten his motherfucking ass out. So the Skywalker, sometimes man. in order to do what's right, sometimes somebody got to get some motherfucking lungs. Got to make some sacrifices. And give my kudos, give our kudos uh, to, I don't care what you think about it, give our kudos to brother Kanye, give our kudos to brother Kyrie, and give our kudos to brother Kenneth Lamar, because they have stepped up and they have faced the opposition and they have not, you know, um, have, you know, they have stepped up and exposed what we needed to see in order for us to step up in support. So. No, hey, that's where I'm no surrender. Yeah. Never give yeah. up. Never give yeah. in. Full speed yeah. ahead. Balls yeah. to the motherfucking wall to all these imposters fall. Mm. Give it to them with no motherfucking reverse. Right. Hey, family, and with that being said, thank you, Rod Hayes. Thank you, Sister Myra. Thank you, family, for tuning in. We still got about 4,000 people in the chat. We're ending at 11 11 with a fiery, powerful energy. We got that my son energy on the panel tonight. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 we, we held it down. It was beautiful tonight, y'all. So, yes. uh, once again, thank you for this energy. With that being said, we get out of here, family. Peace. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Love you.